South Africa or bust? That's the story coming out today. That is the preferred option of the British and Irish Lions Committee. Hi guys, welcome back. Let's discuss this important news. Just come out today, so I thought I'd get a video out. Let you know my thoughts, but also I really want to know what your thoughts are on this. Now, they've said there's a lot of work to do to make this happen. Well, that's understating it a bit. What sort of fans are going to be allowed? Now, is it going to be international fans? Is it going to be just domestic fans? Is it going to be no fans? And at what point is that acceptable or not? And, you know, is it going to be capacity? You know, you really got to think, surely, even if there's fans allowed, it's not going to be at capacity. If there's not both sets of fans allowed, then the atmosphere isn't very good. I'm sure they could fill to whatever capacity it was with just domestic fans. But what's the real reason why they're saying now South Africa or bus, basically? Well, is it some sort of Lions ethos where if you don't tour South Africa, then it's not worth it? Well, it's probably money, isn't it? And what we're hearing, reading in between the lines, if it doesn't go to South Africa with a tour, with fans, with the hotels, with the hospitality, with the tickets, with all of that, then South Africa literally can't make enough money. They need everything. Now, pre-pandemic, South African rugby, we knew, was in pretty poor condition financially. Post-pandemic, even worse, or not post-pandemic, in the middle of the pandemic, even worse. So I think they're pretty much saying it has to happen here or it doesn't happen and maybe they try and postpone it. It sounds like they've put the UK and Ireland tour off the table because even that won't make enough money. So I don't think it's particularly down to an ethos type thing. If they thought it could make enough money, I'm pretty sure it could. It would happen in the UK and Ireland. But that's my thoughts on it anyway. Let me know if you think it's a different reason. And really, to get the maximum amount of money in, like I said, they're going to have to have international fans. And that sounds very hard at the moment. Uh, everything could change. We don't know. But it's a tough one. So why is the UK and Ireland tour no longer on the table? Like I said, it is down to money. I'm sure they could have made it happen. I'm sure they could have arranged all the fixtures, etc. But are they leaving it too late by taking it off the table completely? Will they panic if it can't happen in South Africa and try and get it on in the UK and Ireland? And he's really delaying it an option. I'm just not sure it is. For South Africa, maybe. But for England, Wales, Scotland and Ireland, I just don't think they're, they're going to let it happen, let it be delayed. Anyway, is this good news? On the face of it, yes, it's good news. We get a tour of South Africa, maybe, with the British and Irish Lions. It's the best case scenario. It's going to be amazing if it happens with fans. I'm sure it will be limited capacity, but at least you'll get an atmosphere. And like I said, let me know if you think it's premature taking other options off the table. And I really think postponing is a little bit, you know, it's hypothetical, but I just don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. Uh, wishful thinking is what I'm thinking of. What has been said is if it tours in South Africa, then it's very likely that the pre-tour schedule, if you like, or the pre-test schedule, I should say, will be much changed because they'll need to work out their team bubble regulations, their COVID regulations, which are going to have to be incredibly tight because uh, if, even if it does go ahead, the last thing they want are breaches or outbreaks and the tour to be cancelled halfway through. And the squad announcement is coming up pretty soon, the start of May, so not long at all. After the Six Nations finishes, I'll definitely be coming out with my squad and my team. But there's not a lot of time for the British and Irish Lions committee to decide exactly what's going to happen. Uh, put the wheels in motion and then basically cross their fingers. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think is going to happen or should happen. And I will catch you next time.